Hey everyone, welcome back to Ameripolish Academy Online. My name is Greg Cabot, and as you can see, we've actually moved into a new building. The, my background might be a little bit different from what you're used to, but you know we're working on it. I uh, haven't been able to put everything back together yet, but something came up and I really wanted to share a cool product that we have with you guys. I just want to do a brief demo on our graffiti guard, show you guys a little bit what it's about. It's, it's out of our normal flooring niche, so it's going to be a little different. It's intended for vertical surfaces to protect them from getting graffiti on them. It is a preventative measure, so when you spray this product down, it makes the paint very difficult to stick to the surface, thus being really easy to remove with a pressure washer. I've just got a simple electric 1800 PSI pressure washer. It was $150 at Walmart. I was looking for one of the cheaper ones, assuming that you want to keep things on a budget as always. So we'll start with these two blocks right here, which are untreated. I'm going to spray them with the graffiti guard let it dry and then I will put another set of blocks that are untreated side by side and then we'll spray both of them, remove them with the pressure washer so you guys can see the difference. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. So I always use an HVLP sprayer for this. I know an airless sprayer works as well, but you want to atomize the product fairly well and allow it to spread evenly. So just some type of sprayer that's not a handheld pump up sprayer and you should be fine. As you can see when I'm spraying this product, that the block is actually darkening several shades. You can expect it to stay that darker color. So I'm going to give it another uh, minute or two here to dry, and then I'll apply a second application. And I will always recommend two applications of Graffiti Guard. And it does dry very quickly, so you can see I just it's already dry, we can go right ahead. And we're inside a warehouse, we're not in the sunlight, so you can imagine if you're applying this outside in the sunlight, it's gonna dry even quicker. So I have a lot of good amount of time for the graffiti guard to dry here. On um, These two blocks are the ones that are treated, and the ones across from them are the exact same blocks that are untreated. I just purchased them at Home Depot. These are relatively cheap, very porous blocks. And when I say very porous, I mean that because most vertical surface uh, bricks that you'll be spraying this product on are not going to be as porous as these. These are the pavers that you would see in a, uh, in a lawn or a garden. So uh, keep that in the back of your mind. The next step is for me to just spray this green spray paint on and you'll see when I come back over with the power washer how much easier it is to remove the paint from the treated blocks as it is to the untreated. So as you can see here, the blocks that were treated with Graffiti Guard, the spray paint seemed to come right off. You do have to get uh, very close with the 1800 PSI strength. It's just an electric power washer. It's pretty cheap, so you do have to get right up on it, and, but it does remove the paint. As you can see on the blocks on the far side, I did get right up on this as close as I got on this side, and it just did not remove the paint whatsoever. So that's just case in point demo, and it's kind of what I wanted to demonstrate. So again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach us reach out to us directly or contact any of our distributor network and we'll be happy to set you up with a sample of graffiti guard.